Hello, this is Mr. McGovern, and we're on to the eighth video in the Simple Harmonic Motion series. This is on the maximum values. So we're going to quickly talk about how the maximum values come about and the formula for those. A short video. So if I asked you to look at the following equation, y equals sine x, and try any number for x. You can put in 0, you can put in 1, you can put in 3, you can put in 5, you can put in 50,000, you can put 1,234,576.8. If you put in any number, and I um, ask you to try this on your calculator, what's the biggest number you can get out, the maximum number you can get out for y? It doesn't matter what numbers you put in, with a sine function, the biggest number you can get out is 1. It doesn't matter if you put in sine a million, or sine a trillion, or sine 1, or sine negative 1, the largest value you get is 1. Now the same is for cos. You put in any number for cos x, the largest value you can get for that is 1. Now you'll notice that all our equations for displacement in simple harmonic motion, velocity in simple harmonic motion, and acceleration in simple harmonic motion, it doesn't matter what family, they've either got a sine omega t or a cos omega t. And so just like with, with x, it doesn't matter what your omega is or your t is, the largest value you can get out for the sine or the cos is 1. So if that's the largest value you can get out, sine omega t is 1, then 1 times a, the largest value you can get for the displacement, is, is the amplitude, which is the definition of the amplitude in the first place. The amplitude is the maximum displacement. The largest value you can get out for um, velocity in either equation is cos omega t or sine omega t getting to 1. And if they are 1, then 1 times the things in front of them is just a omega, that's what you get for the velocity max. Don't worry about the negative because we're just talking about the largest value we can get. And the largest value we can get for the acceleration is the same. Sine and cos, the largest they can get is 1. So you get the bit out the front, a omega squared. And so that's it. These are the three largest values you can get. The issue is you are never given those. You have to be able to look at the families of equations and realize the largest value you can get for sine or cos is 1. And so therefore the largest value for y, velocity, or a, is these coefficients out the front of the, um, the cos or the sine. 